November 13th, and I'm here with my dear friend, Olivia. Hey there. And she is my writer friend. She helps me with my writing, and I help her with her writing. And we are both currently in the midst of trying to establish our writing style and write our own books and get good advice from other authors. So I figured we would do like a timestamp to sort of see where we are in our writing process, how we feel about it, um, and our experiences so far. So yeah. Yeah. Anything that you wanted to start with as like where where you feel like is a good starting point to talk about your writing and, and how it's I mean, probably the best like start point in talking mm-hmm. about writing is like ideas, like the conception of Okay, the like beginning where, how the coming beginning. up with the ideas yeah. for books. And obviously yeah. you could spend hours and hours talking about it as mm-hmm. we have. Um but yeah, it's um it starting from the beginning, yeah, you just need an idea and go with it. Mm-hmm. No idea. How where do you feel like your ideas come from? Where for your books that you have I think for my stories, a lot of my stories have grown with me. So I came up with a lot of these ideas when I was young Mm -hmm. and I just thought they sounded like cool or really interesting. Mm -hmm. Like they were mostly adventures that I would have liked to go on whenever I was a young teenager. And then as I grew up, then the stories kind of grew and shaped and formed with me Mm -hmm. to become so that all all the characters in the stories are their own person. And um, but they also they just they all grow up. And, mm. yeah, I think that's, that's kind right. of where. Okay. All right. How about for you? Cool. Yeah, for me, I think a lot of them have come from sort of, like, questions that I had about my own world and my experiences. Um, and, and sort yeah. of delving into, like, well, how would... And then, and then I sort of, sort of my interpretation of that, right? So I, maybe I got my answer or I got an idea of how I feel about it or a lot of times my philosophy about that. Um, and then, so now it's like coming up with my perception of that and how I've experienced it and how I can express those same feelings then through, through my writing. So, yeah. yeah. Um, I figured we also talk about, so like right now, how many books are you working on? Like how many would you say right now you're working on? Right now, I would say I'm working on specifically six books because I'm working on a series, and it's six a six-book book series. Okay. If you really wanted to get technical, I have approximately, like, 23 ideas written oh down. <laughs> so I have the next, yeah. you know, 40 years of mm. my life planned out. But <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. And right. you would say that you're working on? Man, uh, right now I am working on maybe 10 different stories good yeah, it's a good solid actively. number and we're but I don't recommend 23 yeah <laughs> yeah yeah so we are at two separate stages right now because you have just like finished your first rough draft yes right yeah um and i am still very much in the beginning stages of solidifying my world and my story and my characters um so she's a bit ahead of me in those cases um which is actually why i'm here to today this whole week we dedicated to um going through her book and sort of editing that first rough draft and it's been really cool um to be able to hear her story um especially in these beginning stages and and we're making adjustments and talking about the concept of it and the direction of it um so that's been that's been really fun i'm really interested to see like when it when i finally finish it and it's Mm. complete and if i can get it published for you to read it then and see what cha- like mm. what changed over the course of yeah. like your comments and the comments of my brother and sister mm. who are also helping me edit and uh, and see like how different it'll be by the time that it's ready for the world. Right. Right. Yeah, no, that would be Cause, really cause as well as read it as well say, as your cover art is something I'm excited for. Yeah, how you're gonna find yeah, maybe an artist or something. How that's gonna work. I'm yeah. excited too. Yeah. Oh, but yeah, man. it'll be interesting. No. Um, something that we talked about was, um, visual, visual storytelling, because we, you know, a lot of our examples, um, come from shows and movies we watched. Um, and of course, as writers, we don't really have the advantage of visual storytelling, but you still, there's still the art side to it. So we talked about like, I tend to, because I draw so much, I tend to draw out my characters and draw mm-hmm. out scenes in my book, and that gives me the inspiration and the ideas um, 
for for my books a lot of times um, that I feel like I can write a lot more freer after I've done something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, but like, yeah, what's your like for me? It's setting, and I I don't know why because I feel like I have very fleshed out characters, but I maybe because of that like. Mm-hmm. Finding characters or creating characters or finding pictures of people who inspire me for the book. Like, I feel like I have such a specific idea of what my characters look like that other inspiration doesn't work because I just have it here and that's where it fits. Mm. But the setting, I need, like, this to pull the setting from other places. And so I have a lot of, like, pictures saved of places and places with specific colors even more so. So mm. I have a lot of like color schemes for each of my books, especially in this series as it progressively like grows and maybe gets darker. And um, so yeah, I have a lot of a lot of colors and settings mm. is, is my thing. I don't do a lot of characters. All right. Now the colors visual. is that is are you using that in your writing then like you're ex- using and talking about the colors of that scene or is it really just like for you? Like more of a personal thing. It's I'm going to try to, so it is a personal thing for mm. sure. Uh, it's part, partly how I organize. Mm. So like my first book is like a bright blue color internally. Like that's just how I see it because mm. it's, it's the first book we're getting yeah. into it, you know, right. it's fun. And then like book five has more of a Navy feel to it. And that's just an example of how it, it's gotten a little darker. Mm. It's still, it's still blue. There's still this color, this feeling in it, but it's, it's a little more intense. Mm. And, um, and so I have that there sort of is like each book has its own color in my head just to kind of represent mood in some ways Mm. but I would also like to be able to write it so that when the reader looks back on it they can kind of create that Mm -hmm. color in their head as well so Mm. they can feel that the difference in the mood change yeah okay okay cool cool what what have you say um how many authors have you talked to like have you spent time talking with other art other authors um, or, or discussing where's, what's your, you know, almost like your apprenticeship, how Mm -hmm. little or how much has that has been, um, for you? I don't talk to other authors specifically, like me talking to them about Mm. writing or my work, but growing up, I had maybe a selection of five authors that I Mm. adored and the, whenever I got onto the internet and like started using (laughs) Twitter and things like that, um, that's where I would follow them and they yeah. would post their advice and I just drank it up. Like I loved that. And so mm. between about four or five different authors, I've had their advice given to me throughout the years or I've, I've been able to read it. And even if it was at a point in my life where I wasn't planning to like actively write books yet, it was still settling somewhere in my head. And now when yeah. I write, I can kind of think back to some of that and, and use it. Mm. So that's been, that's been my experience in other authors and right. apprenticeship in some right. ways mm. but you actually have some people that you've like literally reached out right. to personally and talked right. to so i've reached out to my favorite author ever brian k fuller who did the Trist moon saga um and we haven't talked so much like writing details mm-hmm. um but he's still like a huge inspiration so i have yeah communicate with him um and then i have a family friend who is a successful published author miss todra candle she's done like 90 books like she just wow. yeah she just finished she does romance romance novels um but Amazing. yeah so that was been cool and she actually helped me a lot um it talked to me through in the beginning um and i even like would read we'd have like read sessions where i would read her what i have so far yeah um and she would tell me like where what areas i should focus on so like even though she doesn't really write you know, fantasy and stuff like that, like I do. Yeah. Um, she still had some really good advice, so that was that was cool. And then, of course, I was a part of a writing group for a little bit, right. which was a whole mixture of people who, a lot of them were not published authors, but a lot of them were the aspiring authors, so yeah. that was uh, pretty pretty cool to be able to just at least get some new ideas and new advice from them. But, um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so that's really neat. I figured we, I would ask you what... Um, so we have it. What type of books right now? Like, do you want to say the names of them or do you not want to say the names of them? Like, I won't say the names okay. of them yet. Um, I, when people ask me what I'm writing, mm. I usually say it's a pirate adventure sort of fantasy action mm. story okay. for YA. And it's a six book series. Okay. And that's, that's the, that's the information. And a six book series, right? Six book series. Okay. If I can, 
see that the publishing process is, um, especially if you're not self publishing, mm. which I currently don't plan on doing. Um, right. Then, um, you can't always like choose that. So mm. I might mm -hmm. go to somebody with my first book and they could say, it's really good, but I don't want six. I only want four. Yeah. And I would have yeah. to rework the series into four books. So I would love to do six, but, um, and I have, I have six planned, but yeah, mm. it might not turn out that way. So. Okay. Got to keep an open mind in that way. Right. So YA fantasy, um, but you said you have like 20 others essentially or like a lot more yeah. others. Are you, do you feel like you're going to have like how-to books, sci-fi books, um, you know, autobiographies? Like, no. Okay. So all YA fantasy? They then? would all be, not necessarily all YA and okay. not necessarily all fantasy, okay. but definitely all fiction. Um I, I don't really think I would be super interested in doing a nonfiction book okay. at this point. Maybe when I'm older, when mm. I feel like... I feel like I'm too young right now to be able to know anything well enough to be able to really, like, s like share mm. it in book form with the world. Okay. I don't know. Okay. But, mm. um, yeah, my other stories tend to be... Uh, well, I've got a couple, of, like, maybe murder mystery type mm. ideas. Yeah. And um, I have another series that's actually for... Uh, like a middle middle grade series yeah that I would like to write um, but that won't be for a while so okay yeah just cool. ideas that brew back here so when right. I'm done with the project I'm working on now I'll, I'll have mm -hmm. something else to set up right yeah okay all right cool yeah. cool I I think right now I'm trying to think I have I mean because it's, it's confusing because some of them are part of the same series so right. but like right they're related as books as books it's several sci-fi books um, probably like, f what would that be? Five, five okay. sci-fi books, or at least guaranteed, maybe six. Um, and then two fantasy books and possibly like two how-to books. Okay. Learning, learning educational yeah. books. Um, I think that's mostly it. Fantasy and sci-fi, I think I find to be for me like the most, uh, probable. I feel like mm -hmm. that's just like, I can write that. Um, yeah. I don't, I don't know about the rest of it. I think, I which is fun. I read a lot more fantasy than I do sci-fi. Right. So it seems odd that I'm seem to be yeah, writing, writing more sci-fi, but that's just like that's my story. So I don't mm -hmm. know how to explain that. That's a little bit like with you though, because you don't really read fantasy that much, right? I don't really read fantasy. As a kid, I loved stories that were like the real world, but there was sort of magic within it, because mm. it felt like something that I could find. Maybe like I knew that I couldn't, but it still felt more possible than me just being in, like, being able to go to, like, Narnia or something mm. like that. Um, so what I write, I think, or what I plan to write is stories that feel like they could have been real mm. with a fantastical element to them. I right. really like magic and anything that feels, like, a little bit strange, whether strange in a good way or strange in a bad way. Mm. Um, just to give, like, the sense of, like, otherworldliness that, as a kid, I wanted to be in my life so bad. Mm. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. No, that's really cool. That makes sense. Yeah. I don't, I don't think I, I'm sure that there's like very specific terms and very specific like meanings of these terms, but I feel mm -hmm. like high fantasy isn't my thing. Like I wouldn't write that, but mm. if there's like a low fantasy, that's probably what I am. Like a more chill yeah. fantasy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So I figure we right now for Olivia we as for progress progress is to like when we're you know thinking and looking to the future mm -hmm. it's gonna be we're we're right now in editing mode yes for the rough for, draft yeah getting done like the first what do you call that the first editing what do you call that the first <sighs> revision i've been revision, calling it revision, right, revision so right. i wrote the rough draft we're going through my first revision i'm i told him the other day <laughs> this is how it goes you yeah. start and you go from the beginning to the end so many times. Mm. And um, and so this is just one of those times we're still going, like, starting from the beginning, going to the end yet again. And um, right. it's a long process, but it's enjoyable. And if, and if you enjoy your story, which you should, you mm -hmm. should like the story that you're writing. Right, right. Um, you need to be proud of your work. Mm -hmm. uh, humble, yes, but you should be <laughs> proud of what you accomplished. Mm -hmm. And you should enjoy it. Because if you don't enjoy it, who the heck else is? Right. Right. Um, so yeah, going through it as many times as I need to, uh, to make it the story it deserves to be. It's not, it's a long process, but it's an enjoyable one. So it's still, yeah. it's still good. Okay. So we can probably 
hope for like a year from now, maybe like looking yeah. at publishing or like or like even be published maybe? I wouldn't be published in a year. I Probably think not. the process takes a little longer okay. than that. Probably looking towards getting published in 2022. Okay. And this novel that I'm working on now hopefully will be done by spring of 2021. Okay. All right. Yeah. 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 Okay. That would be ideal. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. All right. And for mine, uh, you're probably. S- you're still in the creative <laughs> process. I'm still in the creative planning process. So we're looking at like three years from now, probably till it's like something pe- other people can read. Yeah. Um, hopefully not longer, but of course, possibly longer. Yeah. So, um, but all right, cool. Yeah. Awesome. Absolutely. Awesome. Yeah. I think that's good. We'll have to do another video some other time. Absolutely. And maybe because do an update yes an update and you're gonna be starting your youtube channel soon hopefully yeah yeah so we should be able to do that um so awesome i'm excited sounds good all right we will talk